All right, time for my favorite, the reentry and glider phase. Just kidding, it's terrible and painful. All right, payloads in orbit, and let's go save. Wrong button. Let's go get rid of that piece of trash. Absolutely sure it's the debris piece. All right, turn our lights out. Shut the door. Alright, so at this point I, I like to get away from the payload just a little bit, so what I will do is turn RCS off, turn the node off, point retrograde, and I'll usually lower down to like a parry of 79, that seems to be plenty. Just something to get the orbital period out of phase with this guy so I can get away from it for reentry. Ohms are on. Retrograde, I'll do a little burn, I'll get the parry down to 79-ish. Boom, done. Boom's off. As I'm already getting some separation, I'll just hold this. Alright. I'll be honest, this part sucks. I've been pretty lucky the last few times, but it probably means I'll gun it up this time. But okay, so from a roughly 80 by 80 orbit, what I will do is I will start, these are the desert uh, mountains that are west of Space Center. So I will start my deorbit somewhere in the middle of these mountains. Uh, if I start over here, it's I go too long. So somewhere on this edge of the mountain or the center, and then I will burn retrograde. Uh, the peri will dip down the line will intersect Kerbin, and where my orbit intersect or trajectory intersect uh, Kerbin, I'll get it down to um, somewhere south of this island, um, not to the west of it. I'll come in short, not out here I'll come in long although if you go in long you can hit the island or you can do a u-turn and hit the island but this glider is man, it really doesn't like to do u-turns it just likes to come straight in alright so let's give that a try we will warp around We're in front because we're lower and faster. And we're catching up with our little tugboat. Alright. So oh, here it comes. Alright. Flipping around a retrograde. I'll pretty much do the turn as soon as I get retrograde. Ohm's engines are on, ready to go. Just about to retrograde, just about to burn point. Let's go to full throttle. RCS on to help us keep the node in case there's some thrust balance issues. Perry's coming down. And this line is going to intersect curve, and we're just going to burn until that intersection with the surface curve and gets to about somewhere where my pointer is. Yeah. Yeah, let's say right there. Cut off. RCS off. At this point I'll turn around surface plus it basically just points me right down the surface velocity vector. That's the most stable for reentry. <laughs> I'm gonna 
gonna need those. Uh, gonna need those. Actually, I'll, uh, so I'm gonna leave these off. I think I did that once before. I'm gonna just leave them off and see what happens. Surface velocity. All right, let's get on down. I'll pull my panels in right as I hit upper atmo. I'll pull them panels in. All right, here's Atmo. Pull the panels in. Ours are on. These are on. L oh, yeah, rudder. May need some rudder. All right. Coming down to Atmo. All right, this thing actually got six brakes on this thing. Six air brakes, three per side. They're symmetrical, and they're to the back, which is important because if they're not symmetrical and they're not to the back, you get some severe stability problems. I just this thing's already in, unstable, but um, another thing with this guy actually I forgot to do it. I can do it now. I actually pump this fuel forward. Oh, there's no time like now. Let's do it as we're burning. We are pumping fuel. All right, because the center of mass for this vessel when it's most stable, I already tested this in glider phase several times. Center of mass is somewhere in here so I'm going to pull that fuel into there and move it forward a little bit because the lift vector is right in there too. You just you want to keep your lift vector close to your center mass. Uh, and then these little tail, these little horizontal guys on top, they can move but I have them turned off because when they're on the roll stability is pretty terrible so they're off. Alright so from here on in I really just eyeball it. I can turn my ohms off. Don't need them yet. Maybe. Um, thumb rules. I've been trying to set up some thumb rules for like when you know you're going to make KSC or when you know you're going to be shorter, when you know you're going to be long, but to be honest, I haven't f quite figured it out yet. So, got some landmarks. You know, in theory, if you're making KSC perfect, you should be going feet dry right here at a specific speed and altitude. I have no idea what that is. Sorry, I mean, I really just see the pants it every time here, so. Fact 30 looks kind of, looks like I'm kind of short. I think I'm kind of short. Let's see. I I use air brakes on every, almost every approach. So if I think I'm short, I'll just hold off on the brakes. I'm still going 20, 80. So I'll just use a little bit of judicious brakes here. All right, so with the brakes, you just got to watch. This thing gets kind of weird in the transonic region, but I'm not down there yet. But as you're coming out of Mach, you may start to see some pitching and yawing and rolling. Just keep an eye on your attitude if it starts doing that. You come, okay, 1700. I'm gonna let go of the brakes. All right, so I'm getting over the edge of the mountains at 19 clicks, 1600. KM to the runway. Still look a little hot. Actually, I don't even have my joystick out. Let's dump the joystick out. I recently plugged this in specifically for this collider part. Alright, 1200. This actually looks pretty good. Amazing. Alright, 1200. There's a 1000. Letting go of the brakes. Alright, now surface velocity hold. I'm going to pitch up a little bit. That's going to preserve some of my altitude because as the speed comes off it, you look like you're going right to it you, as the speed comes off you might not make it so let's see 600 let's go back to zero let's get some brakes on 500 brakes off 400 brakes on 300 boom all right let's do this let's turn this guy off let's go to manual pilot I got stability on. I'm 11 clicks out. Coming down through 5k. 260 speed and dropping. This actually looks pretty good. Okay, hand on the stick now. Let's get over here to the right. 240. Coming through 3000. A little bit of brakes. See, I'm coming back with fuel, so if you want to cheat and use your ohms you can. I actually had to do that at the island. But don't tell anyone. Alright, gear down. 
180. Gear down for real this time. 160, altitude 800. Lined up. So you gotta get lined up because if you try to yaw around on the runway, it's quite terrible. Okay, just gotta watch your pitch because this thing is not really stable if you get too much angle of attack. 136, breaks out, flaring. Well, that was pretty aggressive, but that's okay. 100. You get some really crazy lag spikes too. It's a screech, breaks. Alright, I'm hands off the stick this time. 40, 30, 20, 10. Wheels stop. Lock the brakes. Bam. Done.